Right folks, we're at the Halsway Post. Look, I've actually cut out quite a bit. More than I thought. It's actually quicker coming up Somerton Plume to get to this point. Because this is the point I wanted to do. I'm going to walk down through there and round the corner. Oh yeah, yeah. This is the bit I wanted to do. So it takes me near the wood and the field. If I do it this way round, wait a minute. Climb over, shall Put that there. This is Sheena, Halsway Post. We're going to go across this track. We're going round Hurley Beacon and we'll come back across the top of the beacon on the way back. Okay? Yeah, that's good. What it is, this particular path goes around the base of the Hurley Beacon where the Carnes are. Burial mound, of course, this is one big burial mound. I walk across this way. I'm just going to pop down to the wood. I'm going to what I'm doing is trying to pick up a route, part of the route, half of the route that I did on the 7th of October last year. Uh, the bit I'm doing, on the way out, I came up through Honda's Coombe, which, which is what I did last year. Um, on the way back from the carn. But I did it in reverse this time. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Bicknoller Village would be beyond those trees there, look. That's Bicknoller. Crocombe's the other side of this hill. I don't even know. I think I have done this path once. Just particular ones. Normally I do the one on the top. Which I'm going to be doing. Um, in a minute. What we're doing, we're just going to try and pick up some of the original route I did. It's not going to happen on the 7th of October now. And because I wouldn't have had this weather. It might not be like this. So I've picked today as close to October the 7th as I can. Which is on Monday. Yes, yeah, today is the 3rd of October. So, I did want to do it on the anniversary. But I got a feeling there might be special events on. On the television in memory. Of the people that were murdered on that day. Massacred, I should say. So I might actually stay and watch that. And it's going to be raining. I have, I've already looked in advance. Uh, and it wouldn't be pleasant out here. You wouldn't be able to get the photos the same. You know what I mean? So I thought, no. Go out while it's nice weather. And we've done some exploring. We did um, Somerton Coombe today. Which hasn't been done for five odd years. Maybe seven years. Now, of course, another thing I had thought I could have done is drive to Crocom itself, park at Crocom, because normally I've got used to get off the bus at Crocom, see, and just do the walk. Almost identical, but instead of going down Bit Nolakum, I'd have to come I would have had to come down here. See? So, yeah, so that's up there is Hurley Beacon. And, um, I, I've, I think I've done this route once. Uh, 
Of course you can see various roots coming down, down into the coombs. <sighs> yeah, because it, it wouldn't have taken me, it'd only have taken me about an hour to get to higher hair nap from Holford. It's right close to it. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do a walk. I wanted to, put, to participate in the type of walk which I've done. <sighs> Um, just quick word then, um, in Israel, Palestine, whatever you want to call it, the Israelis are still attacking the Lebanon with Hezbollah. Iran are still sending over various rockets to Israel, to Jerusalem, Tel Aviv, Haifa, and um, the Iron Dome, they call it, that Israel have got, tends to knock out these rockets, a lot of them, that's what they say. But I think quite a few have got through. They've also got their US Navy on their side, Israel. That's why they're so cocky, you know. That's why they're so cocky. Because as a backup, they got America supplying them with as much killing material as they need. Even though they're condemning it, they're giving them weapons. How shitty stupid is that? You know? How stupid is that? It's the irony of it. Of course, they'd like to knock out the Middle East, you know, the Americans, for the oil. They'd like to control them again. It's all about power and control, you know. At the end of the day, they've all got their agendas. Let's, let's attack the Middle East, right? And then we can... It's always been about the oil. Even though we're supposed to be going friendly. We're supposed to be going friendly. God, I hope I'm not being followed. No, it's all right. I give people ideas sometimes. Are you still on, sure? I could never see. I wish they had a flashing light on this. Yeah, it's still on. Right, I'm going to turn off for a second. I'll come right back then, on again everyone. in a minute. The thing I'm going to run out of, you know, is memory card if I'm not careful. Are you? Yeah, if I do too much. Because I haven't, I keep, keep forgetting to buy a spare memory card. I got a feeling I did buy one and I've lost it. But look at this scene. I'm just going to pop down into the field, out of interest, to see if I can see any mushrooms. Look at this lovely scene, look. This is England. This is our green and pleasant land, everyone. This is our Jerusalem. And did those feet in ancient time walk upon England's mountains green? And was the holy Lamb of God on England's pleasant mountain seen, and did the countenance divine shine forth upon those lovely hills, and was Jerusalem builded here? Among these dark satanic mills Bring me my bow Of burning gold Bring me my arrows of desire Bring me my spear O oh, clouds unfold Bring me my chariots of fire, 
I will not cease from mental fight, nor shall my sword sleep in my hand till we have built Jerusalem on England's green and pleasant land la 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 sorry about that folks i just couldn't help it and i might have got some of the words wrong but i've always liked that song i've often thought that should be our national anthem jerusalem to be quite honest Oh, God, it's a lovely song. It always brings out the passion in you. You know, when you're looking at views like that, right over into beautiful Somerset, especially, because they, I think they played Jerusalem at the 2012 Olympics, and they had Glastonbury tour as the symbol of England. And these places I love, these places I go walking, everybody, over and out. <laughs> 